All right, next we're gonna talk about nasal cannulas. For your nasal cannulas, you're gonna set your oxygen at one to six liters per minute. There are some infants that go on smaller amounts of oxygen, but pre-hospitally, we typically only deal with the one to six. Some flow meters actually start at two, two to six liters per minute. Um, so this would be for a patient that doesn't need a high amount of oxygen, but needs a little bit to get over that 94%. So this is the packaging. Um, so most of the new nasal cannulas come with waveform capnography on it already. So when I take it out, you'll see that there's two hoses here. The green hose is what plugs into your oxygen. Um, oxygen's always gonna be green. And this is the cannula part that goes on your patient. And then this white tube is gonna plug into the monitor to get your waveform capnography reading. Um, you don't have to use the waveform capnography. It'll still function as a nasal cannula without it. You can also use it as a waveform capnography without putting on oxygen, or you can use them together so you could get oxygen and the nasal cannula or the waveform capnography function. So first thing you want to do is you want to hook up your oxygen tubing to your flow regulator. You're going to set your flow to whatever um, flow you would like to set it on. Then you wanna put in your waveform capnography before you put this on your patient. It does need to calibrate. So it goes in your capnography port and it just twists in like a key. You wanna give it a couple seconds to read on your monitor so it calibrates without having any air going into it. When you're getting ready to put the cannula portion on your patient, you have nasal prongs your nasal prongs typically look like this. They're kind of curved in and you want them pointing to your patient. You don't want them pointing out away from the patient's nostrils or they won't get the oxygen. Also, this reservoir is going to catch their exhale. So you want that reservoir open to their mouth. When you put it on your patient, just put the prongs in their nose, the loops around their ears, and then you can tighten it for comfort and make sure it doesn't fall off. Once they take a couple breaths, you can actually see their capnography reading on the monitor. We do want it to be between 35 and 45. My rate is kind of all over the place because I'm speaking, but if I was just sitting here breathing normally, you would see a nice plateau, normal capnography reading.